There are many, many reasons why you should join your local model engineering society or club or railway track or traction engine club or anything like that. Anything to do with model engineering. And when you're in these clubs and you start going, you, you start talking to like-minded fellows and, and ladies and all sorts of strange folk. And in the local society that I have joined, there is a member called Steve who has built a seven and a quarter inch gauge Tinkerbell. And we got chatting and he's given me lots of help and advice and information on building my Tinkerbell to help you along the way with the journey. And in a recent conversation, he said, what castings have you got for your Tinkerbell? And I may have a few spares. There's not much. There's no cylinders, there's nothing like that. But he said these may be of use to you, if you're interested. So he brought them along one day and we agreed a price and I ended up buying one or two pieces that he had. And he also chucked in some other parts, which we'll show you those as well. So let's dive in and go through what we've got for the Tinkerbell. It's so exciting. It's just so exciting. Oh look, a pony truck. First and foremost, we have this very small piece. Oh yes, we have the smoke box door. This is amazing. It's actually really heavy as well. It's a considerable thickness. Dished at the back. Absolutely lovely piece. There's just a little bit where they cut the gate off when they filled the casting. They just cut it a bit shallow. So there's just a little tiny bit I need to fill in there where it shouldn't be any trouble. Other than that, it's a beautiful piece. To be honest, we probably won't even notice that once it's all painted black. Then we have these. Now these two items are castings for motion brackets. I know a lot of people actually make and fabricate their own motion brackets. We shall see if we can use them on ours. This is a casting for a brake wheel. A bit of uh, a bit of flash there to take off, but it's uh, nothing major, nothing we can't sort out. Obviously there's a handle to go in there and then the, the central point there. We next have the absolute beast of a chimney cap. This is, wow, just look at it. It's amazing. It's fantastic. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking I don't need any of these parts right now. No, I don't. But I think they're a significant purchase for the future of the build, of where we're going to end up going. The piece we're gonna probably use the earliest it's probably the brake handle, because when we turn the steam engine over, we'll probably be ending up working on the brake gear. The story behind these castings is Steve bought two sets, and originally he was going to build two Tinkerbells, but only ever built one. Over the 10 years that he's had his Tinkerbell, he's ended up using parts and castings for the second set on other projects and other adventures in, in the model engineering world. Now, I can't thank Steve enough. He's been so helpful recently in building the Tinkerbell. His advice and knowledge on Building the Tinkerbell is unquestionable. He has a running, proven locomotive that runs rather regular down at the, at the local track. Now, Steve didn't only sell me these. He also included something else. Now, you all know about this Tinkerbell and this project. This is Tinkerbell number two. These are the sister frames to the locomotive that Steve has already built. There is a very small difference. These frames are two inches longer than my frames. So it looks like Steve has added in eight inches from the original drawings and I have only added in six inches. The front section here is exactly the same as mine. The space in between there is exactly the same as per the original drawings which is fantastic and great news. So quite a bit of work has already been done on the frames. They've all been cut out. They've got the, the cut out for the pony truck. A lot of the holes. We've got a full length piece of angle iron on one of them, which we can use to drill the other one. We've obviously got the angle irons for the buffer beams to be attached. We've got the beginnings of the horn stairs or horn guides. It's also got angles welded on for the foot plate. We also have machined in the holes for the bearings for the brake 
lathe shaft. And one noticeable difference between my frames and these frames is these frames have the holes for the cylinders, which is great news. We also got a buffer beam. Yes, just the one, but we can use this one to drill off for the second one because all the holes are in exactly the same place as Steve's now running Tinkerbell. So we know that if I get another piece of plate that size, we can drill all the holes in exactly the same place and they'll go together fine. Now, before we all start jumping on the comments saying, finish your first one, that is the plan. The first one is going to get finished. It's, it's the ultimate plan. It's the best plan. That one's further on. We're going to use the castings that we have. Now, they're going to be going on tink number one. But there is no plans right now to start tink number two. I may start making notes and drawings of Steve's locomotive to make a pretty much replica of his. Steve's Tinkerbell is a very nice Tinkerbell. I think it would be nice to finish those frames and get the locomotive up and running. So we can use those castings to draw up new patterns and use some new technology to produce some castings, maybe? But this is all future stuff. But for now, these castings are destined for tink number one. And that's what we need to carry on with. So join us for more trials and tribulations of building steam engines and acquiring more steam engine parts than we know what to do with. If you've enjoyed this video, and you've enjoyed any of the other steam engine videos but you've not yet clicked that subscribe button then please feel free to click it now and the notification bell and you'll be notified when we next release a video that only leaves us to look at here for this video which you may enjoy and this one down here because you may enjoy that one as well stay safe laters